welcome to Grayson's eight month baby update. He is so excited to be here. If you see him looking, it's because there's a window. He loves to look out windows and Felix is also um, right behind the camera too, so he keeps looking there. Hi. But let's get started. So this month, Grayson is 18.6 pounds. He's huge. Um, he's still got lots of rolls on his thighs, but he is starting to thin out. You can see like, if he looks at the camera, his cheeks like are deflating. They're not as puffy anymore. It makes me kind of sad. Hi, can you tell him a hi? Who's that baby? He loves looking at babies. Grayson is 27 and a half inches tall. Really towards the end of the month, he has just now been starting to pull up on everything. Grayson just wants to pull up when I'm sitting with him. He'll want me to pull him up. He'll pull up on objects. He just loves to stand. He always wants to stand. He's master crawling. He wants to stand. He hasn't started like walking yet, like trying to take steps yet, but I'm sure that is to come soon. Yep, see here he is. He just wants to stand. He doesn't want to sit. Grayson can now climb stairs. I'll input a video right here. Yay! Yay! He's like, what? I just did that like three times. <laughs> So yeah, he just started that. He hasn't done like multiple stairs yet, but he will do just like one at a time. And he's very proud of himself whenever he does it. Grayson, I'm pretty sure he's gonna be walking definitely before his first birthday. Um, he was crawling at like six months. So I definitely think he's gonna be an early walker. Grayson loves to talk. He talks all the time. Although really all that he says right now is eh. But he's really cute because usually anytime I ask him a question or I'm talking to him and he sees that I'm talking to him, he will respond to me, which is really cute. And he'll just be like, eh, eh, eh. Or he's done this new thing where he'll like change his pitch of voice and he'll be like, eh. It's the cutest thing. You see that baby? Grayson is very smart. He has started to understand words. Um, he can't speak any words yet. I mean, he does say like mama, but he understands words. So when I say like, where's dada, he will look. And if Anthony is in the room, he will look at Anthony or he will look at the door that Anthony usually comes through when he's home from work. He understands Felix, our cat and, and kitty cat. Where's Felix? Where's Felix? Yeah, he's looking. Felix is right up there. So he's very sorry. He understands. He knows Felix and Kitty Cat. He knows Doggy. Both my parents have a dog and Anthony's parents have a dog. So he's around dogs a lot and he loves, loves dogs. Um, he understands the word fan. So if there's a ceiling fan, he loves ceiling fans. And so if we say, where's the fan? He'll look and look up at the ceiling and at the fan. He understands the word light. So if we say, where's the light, Grayson? The light? He, he'll usually look wherever the light is. Yeah, you did. He's very smart. Um, he also knows tree. There's a huge tree in our backyard. And so Grace and I will sit on the couch and we'll look out the window and he loves seeing the tree. And he also knows Christmas tree. He knows the difference between a regular tree. And then when I say, where's the Christmas tree? Or if he even hears the word Christmas, he looks at the Christmas tree. It's the cutest thing. Grayson can now say Dada. He doesn't say it very often, but he does say it. Now he doesn't say it like knowing like Dada, I want Dada. It's just like, Da, 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 da. But it's really cute that he's finally starting to say it. <coughs> Grayson can still say mama, although he doesn't say it as often. The only time he really says mama is when um, he's mad and he'll be like, ma, 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 ma. But other than that, he doesn't usually, he just says eh. This month we lowered Grayson's crib. We noticed that he was starting to pull up on things and I was definitely afraid that he was going to topple over the crib so we finally lowered it and our crib has like three lowering things it's like the top middle and bottom but we didn't want to have to like lower it a third time or a second time we just lowered it all the way to the bottom it's so sad now but he actually transitioned really easily with it he didn't have any problems being that low in the crib it was harder on me than on him Grayson celebrated his first Thanksgiving this past month um, he loved eating all the food he tried mashed potatoes 
turkey, pumpkin bread, tons of food. He loved it. He loves uh, like being with his grandparents and his aunts and uncles and he was the center of attention and he loved it. This past month was really hard getting Grayson to eat baby food. It was like he didn't want to sit. He hates being confined. He hates being in his car seat. He hates being in his high chair. So that was already difficult and then he was distracted by everything. If anything else was making noise, the cat, Anthony home, the TV, he was distracted, he wouldn't focus, and lots of times he wouldn't even open his mouth for me. So it was really, really hard for me to feed him baby food. He would eat like adult food all the time. I would give him pieces of waffle, pieces of anything. I mean, obviously that like wouldn't choke him. And then when I sit him down and try to give him like baby food, he refused. So it was a really, really frustrating month. I kind of learned that uh, he really does not like banana. The flavor, the mash, I don't know. We've given him like normal pieces of banana before and he eats that just fine. But something with the baby food and I even had like um, banana flavored like oatmeal cereal, he hated it. So we got away from the banana and we tried different things and that seemed to help. Uh, we discovered his favorite baby food so far is chicken noodle. They like have chicken noodle pureed in baby form and he loves it. He loves chicken noodle. He eats it so fast. So now that we're try like trying other things and getting away from banana, he seems to be doing better in the food department. It's still a struggle sometimes, but it's not as bad as what it was. Grayson is on formula, 100% formula. I don't breastfeed anymore. I stopped that um, last month. And I'm really happy that I stopped breastfeeding. Um, I feel like I have my body back. I'm not pumping all the time. And he doesn't mind it at all. It's just a little more expensive to have to buy formula. But he just started doing this. Grayson loves, like, any noise you can make with your mouth. He thinks it's hilarious. He thinks it's fascinating. He likes to do it himself. So it's really fun to make different noises with him. We took Grayson to see Santa this uh, past month and he hated it. Here is pictures and video. absolutely hated it. I think he's just starting to get into a little bit of stranger danger. I've never seen him like have a problem with anybody holding him before so this is the first instance. I also think like where we went we went like <clears throat> to a photographer's studio and her room was like super tiny and so I'm wondering if like that overwhelmed him or like Santa all dressed up overwhelmed him. I'm not sure but he was not having it. I mean yeah it's not a perfect picture but it's still a memory and I loved it. He's super active, as you can see. He's go, 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 move, move, move. Grayson still loves lights. He loves looking at yeah, the lights. He loves looking at the lights. Um, we're planning on taking him to go to the lights at the zoo soon. And I think he's gonna absolutely love it. He's constantly attacking our Christmas tree. I constantly have to tell him to stop. He's constantly attacking our bookshelf and getting down movies and CDs and all that. Grayson recently does not like loud noises. He freaks out anytime he hears a loud noise. Um, and I discovered this with the vacuum cleaner. So like the week before I uh, vacuumed the living room and he was like in his um, jumper and he was totally fine with it. Well, the next week when I went and vacuumed, he freaked out as soon as I turned on the uh, vacuum. Here's a video of the aftermath keeps checking to see if the vacuum is still there. <laughs> You're all scared, huh? <laughs> Just don't like loud noises. <laughs> oh, okay. You're okay. <laughs> he keeps checking. It's still there. <laughs> Gray. Uh, it's okay. He's not going to get you. Okay. Okay. Yeah, he would 
not let me put him down for like an hour after that happened. He was so traumatized by it. So that makes it a little tough to like do things. I also had an instance where I had to go to the bathroom. We were on the road. We went into a McDonald's and I had to bring him in the stall with me because I had nobody else with me. And uh, when I went and flushed the toilet, he freaked out. He was so scared of the loud noise. So it's kind of cute seeing him like be scared of things. Um, but it, yeah, it's totally new. Grayson hates being alone. He hates when I leave him in the room alone. He's always near me. If we're playing in the living room and then I get up to go into the kitchen to get a drink or get his food ready for whatever, he freaks out and realizes that I'm leaving and then he follows me and he does this ma, 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 and he's like slowly crawling towards me. It's hard to do anything when he's awake if I like want to leave him at all. Grayson loves attention. He hates being in the back seat in his car seat alone. He loves it when people are sitting in the back seat with him so they can entertain him and talk to him. Grayson loves his books, absolutely loves them. He will just sit there and he's the cutest little thing. He'll just put his hands and lay them flat on the tops of his um, thighs and he'll just like sit there and and be quiet and just watch and all the books. We have like baby's first 100 word like picture book. He loves it. We have a book that I got on Black Friday and it's a Christmas song book. It has like five different Christmas songs and it's got lights and it lights up and he absolutely loves that book. He still loves any books that like sing songs. He loves it. Grayson also still loves animals. He loves our cat Felix. The feeling is not mutual, but that's okay. And he loves my parents' dog. He loves any dog he comes into contact with. He just loves animals. We have uh, picture books in his room that have like farm animals and he loves looking through those books and I'll make the noises for the animals and he just loves them, loves those books. He also loves being out in public. Anytime I take him to the store with me to go grocery shopping, he loves it. He, he actually sits in the cart now and he loves to just look around and he'll look at the people passing by and he'll smile at everyone. And of course then everybody smiles back, especially all the older people. So it's so cute to see. He loves, loves people watching, which obviously I love people watching too, so he's definitely my child. Grayson still loves to bounce. If you hold him while he's standing, he will bounce up and down on you. He doesn't like his bouncer so much anymore because it is confining and he can't go anywhere wear it in it but he will bounce in it every so often he loves songs loves when we sing we've been singing a lot of christmas songs right now because we are in december so he's been loving hearing all the new songs he still loves all of his nursery rhymes though so it's super cute grayson loves stroller rides we don't do those as much anymore because it's ohio in the winter so it's freezing but there were a couple warm days so we did go out in the stroller and he just absolutely loves it he loves being in the stroller he loves being outside. He loves looking out the windows outside. He's so cute. So he's in a really fun age. He's usually happy all the time. He's just getting a little more curious about things. And so he likes to get into everything. He likes to get into the toilet paper. He likes to play with the door stoppers on the backs of doors. If there's anything on the ground, anything at all, he will put it in his mouth. So it's just a lot harder for me to do anything while he's awake because I have to watch him like a hawk. He still sucks his fingers. It's really cute to see. He's just the cutest thing and I love being his mommy. I love staying at home with him and I love seeing his personality develop. I think that's about it for Grayson's eight month update. Thanks for um, watching this video. Be sure to subscribe and we'll see you in our next video. Bye. Say bye. Bye.